Hello, hello, awesome people. Welcome back to Parcel Creation video tutorial. In this video, we are looking at how to design a birthday flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So without further ado, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this together. So this is the birthday flyer that we are going to create. With a single click, you can change the background in Photoshop, and you can also change the image to any picture that you would like to use. So you can see how I am able to change the background with just a single click all right okay so first of all go to file then select new and let's select 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels and click on create a new canvas is going to open in photoshop for us then first of all we are going to make a duplicate of the background so to make a duplicate of the background just click and drop the background over here and boom, we have a duplicate, okay? Then from here, go to FX and then add a gradient overlay. So Photoshop remembers the last gradient that I apply and just apply for me. So let me open the gradient and open the first stopper, all right? Then please copy the same color code and you are going to get this same thing. Click on OK and you can also copy this color code so you get the same thing click on ok ok make sure you copy the same settings we have over here okay so you get the same effect now click on ok then we have the background for the birthday flyer so you can see the same thing here all right so first of all i will start to type my birthday flyer i have some type here so i'll first copy the birthday then with the help of my test tool over here I will select that and paste in my birthday. Then Ctrl T for free transform, and I'm going to make this one as big as I want it. Okay. Then from here, I will open my character panel. If you don't have it, go to Window and select Character. It is going to open somewhere for you, and I will change the weight of the font. So I will select Extra Bold. Okay. Then. I'm going to make a duplicate of this. So to make the duplicate, you click and drag this one to the plus. And boom, we have the duplicate. And I will replace the test with PFD. Okay. So with the help of my test tool, Control A, Control V to paste. Okay. So Control A highlights everything and Control V overwrite on the test. Okay. So this is the test that we are going to use. And let me reduce the size a bit. So I'll position one here and I'll position one also here. Next, I will select the last test. Okay, that's the baby. Go to my files and I will click and drop this image. But one thing that I want you to know is that before you can do this same thing, you have to know how to remove an image from a background. Okay, so if you don't know how to do this, I'll put a link in the description below where you can use a pen tool to remove a background of an image just like this, okay? Then from here, this is what we are going to have, okay? So next, I'm going to select both of these layers, okay? Then I'll make a duplicate. So I'll hold on, Alt on PC, Option on the Mac, click and drag and bring one on top of the test. And boom, there we have our duplicate. Next, I will select my happy and select the original happy and I'll click on this link so that when I move the test, it move both of them. So I'll do the same thing for the birthday. Select both of them, hold control and you click on link and it moves the test okay for you. So next, we are going to select the test that we have on top here. So I'll select my birthday. Go to FX and then I'll apply a blending option. Okay, so layer style is going to open for me. Then first of all, I'll click and drag this, okay, the opacity all the way down to zero. Then I'll click on this stroke, okay, to add a stroke. Then make sure you click on here to open the stroke panel. Then from here, I'll change the color to white. And also, I'll increase the size to 10. So these are my own figures that I pick. So make sure you fine tune in to get the correct figure for yours. 
then might not work for you okay so this is what i have now i'll click on okay all right so we have to apply the same thing on this birthday but we don't want to go through the stress that we used to apply this so what can we do we can hold down auto option we click and drag on the fx okay to make a duplicate so this is what we click on to make the duplicate okay and boom there we have it just that it didn't apply the blending option so we just have to double click on the effect and then with the blending option selected reduce the opacity and click on ok there we have it we have our effect in photoshop so one positive thing about this is when we click and drag to anywhere you see the effect applies okay so this is one magic thing about this that i'm teaching you okay so let's select our test so i'll select both of them i'll click and then drop them where i want them to be okay all right so let's add the other features and boom you'll be done from here okay so first of all i'll select everything but before that let me lock the background select everything and reduce the size a bit next i'm going to add a drop shadow so to add a drop shadow i'll add a new layer click on here to add a new layer then i'll select my shape tool and draw a circle so i'll use the ellipse and draw an ellipse just like this okay this is not a circle next i'll right click on this one and then i'll click on rasterize layer so i'll rasterize the layer go to filter blur gaussian blur and you choose a figure that works best for you so let, let me increase mine a bit okay so when you are okay with it you click on okay and then let's reduce the opacity over here so let's say 40 and reduce the size and then also i'm going to increase here rotate it a bit and position it here so let's maintain 30 okay and then i'm going to click and drag this behind the image okay let me put this one behind all the text okay all right so there we have our shadow so let's compare this one with this one okay we can also increase the blur if the blur is small for you so let's say let's go for 20 because we have already added some blur on it so let's see all right so i think something like this okay and let me reduce this one to 25 i don't want much of the play or the shadow okay next with the help of my rectangle tool i'm going to draw a quick rectangle small one and fill this one with white then next with the help of my shape tool particularly the ellipse so i'm going to draw an ellipse and then i don't want fill for this time but i want stroke and i want a white fill okay then i will change this one from line to dotted line okay and i will increase the size to five click on okay all right so let's see what we have then i'm going to position it where i want it to be and reduce the size because it's too much next i'm going to type in this okay so let's say plus one increase the size a bit and then i'm going to position this one here so i'll zoom in and position this image where i want it to be and we can also make it a little bold by selecting the semi bold and also guys you can note down the font that i'm using so i'm using one font for everything next with the help of the test tool i'm going to add this so maybe june fit so the day of the person's birthday we can add it so people can know this is the date before we continue let's thank our sponsor for today's video skillshare 
Skillshare is an online learning platform which is created for amazing people like you who wish to learn new things and many more that you can mention. Make sure you use the link in the description below to check out Skillshare. And also guys, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and also leave me a comment in the comment section if you want to see more of birthday flyers from past location, okay? Next, I'm going to add the name of the person. Okay, so here is the name. Help of the test to control vein to paste. Then I will align from left. Then from here, I'll go to edit, transform, and select rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Okay. Then select the move to and move it in place. Next, I'm going to add the position of the person. So I'll make a duplicate of the test and place in that and also change the size of the font to a smaller one. Okay. All right, next, so with the help of my rectangle tool, I'm going to draw a rectangle to indicate that we have something here. I will select white for the fill and I'll select none for the stroke. Control O to fit everything to screen. Next, with the help of the rectangle tool, I'm going to draw a line, just like this. Select Y for the fill and select none for the stroke, okay? Then I'll zoom in and make this line as tiny as I can get it, Control O to fit everything to screen. Then with the help of my test tool, I'm going to define the area I want to type the test. Then I'll just copy and paste in the test I would like to type. So Control V to paste, select everything, align to the center. Then I'll increase the size of the font, okay? And I'll select regular for this. So guys, this is how you can go about a birthday flyer in Photoshop. Let me move everything a little bit up, okay? And we can increase the size of this and make sure it is aligned to the center, okay? So please, this is how you can go about this birthday flyer. So let's look at where we can change the background. So, so to change the background, go to adjustments and then add hue and saturation click on that and when the hue and saturation panel open for you or the property open for you just use this handle to change the background anything that you prefer okay so let's say we prefer red so we just go here and select the red okay or if you prefer blue you just maintain this okay all right, so let's maintain something like this for the final design. All right, guys, thank you very much. And if you want a design from Parcelo, if you want Parcelo to work on a project for you, just contact us using the number in the description or you can find on your screen. And also subscribe to the channel, like the video, and please, I'm going to give this birthday flyer for you for free so you can download it and use it in your project thank you very much see you next time and keep creating